την ημέρα διπλά σημαντική είναι ότι σήμερα ανακοινώνουμε την επισπιτάλωτη Tungua most universities these days are moving more towards the sciences. I understand that. I mean, clearly in the aftermath of the pandemic, for example, we do need biomedical sciences. For China, the world's largest nation, to invest so much in dialogue between different forms of classicism, I think is a hugely important statement. And I'm so excited and so uh, pleased to be here and to be part of this. I am really excited and proud to be a part of this wonderful conference that bridges the two of the most ancient civilizations, the ancient Greek and the ancient Chinese. I believe that China is taking a step forward in order to do uh, an innovation in the field of classics. China is the cradle of um, ancient uh, Asian civilizations. Um, this is where it all began. In a world of turbulence, uh, perhaps classics and perhaps the way that China conducts the research on classics is a way to find the lost stability, let's say, on a global level as well.